Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Cudgel here. Now, before we even get into the video, I just gotta say, I'm sorry about my hair. It's it's just not cooperating today at, at all. You know, go ahead and make make all the bad hair jokes you want right now in the comments. Just just go down there. It, I don't blame you. Maybe it doesn't look as bad on the camera. Maybe. No, it definitely looks as bad on the camera. But if you didn't see the video yesterday, first off, go watch it. But basically, uh, at the start of it, I had a little uh, recap of the previous video because the, the two videos are kind of connected. But in it, I had uh, this deep, grotesque, manly voice say, Previously on Nathan Cudgel. Now, if you couldn't tell, uh, yeah, that definitely wasn't my voice. Wish that was my voice, but it wasn't. Now, originally for that, I was, I was going to be the one to say, Previously on Nathan Cudgel. But when, every time I recorded it, it just, it didn't sound very good, and it didn't, I, I wanted to get that, like, deep voice you hear in TV shows. Previously on Nathan Cudgel. You know, some, something like that, the James Earl Jones type stuff. And so, I, I decided to look on, on Fiverr. Uh, if you don't know what Fiverr is, it's basically a website where you pay people and they do stuff for you. Normally, the price point is around five bucks. Now, I actually had a $5 credit on here already uh, from a long time ago. I paid a guy to make me a good YouTube banner. I told him all sorts of stuff I wanted and gave him images and it was awful. Like, I could have done better in 10 minutes. It was absolutely atrocious. Uh, so I got a refund on it and just called it a day. For some reason though, Fiverr won't refund it to your actual credit card it'll just keep it in Fiverr, so you have to go spend it on something in Fiverr. So for the past like year and a half, I've been looking for something to spend this $5 credit on, and I finally found it. So I started looking for some voiceover stuff, and I had two things I needed. It had to be $5, or cheaper I suppose, and it had to deliver within 24 hours. I needed this very fast. Now I was looking, and I sorted by, you know, lowest price, and I, you know, within 24 hours, and about the third or fourth result really caught my eye. I will record an American male voiceover more powerful than these guns. And I just gotta say, it was a very good voiceover, but I don't think it was quite as powerful as those guns. Those are some powerful guns. Great, now there's gonna be gay jokes in the comment section too. I love you guys. But regardless of that, I couldn't choose anything else. I listened uh, to the voiceover and I thought, you know what? This is good enough, but the real reason I chose him was because once I saw that title, I couldn't look at anyone else. I will record an American male voiceover more powerful than these guns. Why would I choose anything else? He could have the most hideous, horrible voice ever, and I would have still probably chosen this guy because that is such a good title and thumbnail. This guy knows how to market. Also it helped it was $5 for 75 words and he delivered within 24 hours. That, that helped too. Now. Uh, if you don't know how to count, previously on Nathan Cudgel, that's only four words. It's gonna be really embarrassing if it's like actually three or five. It, previously on Nathan Cudgel, yes, it's four. Okay, I'm not dumb, I can count. But do some quick math for you, that left me with 71 words for free. Now I could have chosen just four words and that would have been it, but I mean, it was gonna be five dollars either way. I mean, if I chose 76 words, it would be ten dollars, but 75, it was five. So I thought, you know, why not, why not get all I can out of this? I make him say some really dumb shit. Now, I had to really think about what I wanted him to say with those 71 words. Originally, I was thinking of maybe trying to get him to say the Navy SEALs copy pasta. That's a favorite of mine. I looked at all sorts of different copy pastas and, you know, funny things and asked friends, but finally I decided to, well, to write my own. Now, I just gotta say, my man Nathan Cudgel is the greatest YouTuber alive. It's no wonder he now has the most subscribed to channel on all of YouTube. I have no doubts that one day, he will become Supreme God Emperor of the world, and we will all be the better for it. I mean, he's not wrong. Can you imagine the kind of stuff this guy has to say on a daily basis? I mean, I'm sure there's like normal people who get like a voiceover for their amateur documentary and stuff like that, but then you just have me and idiots like me who have him say, have him say really stupid stuff. But that, that uh, dumb paragraph I had him read, that's not, even, that's not even the dumbest thing I had him say. The dumbest thing I had him say, and my favorite thing I had him say. My wee wee hurts. Fantastic, fantastic. He could not have said that in a better way. I don't think he could have. I don't think anyone could have said that 
and a better way. Five out of five. I did give this guy five out of five stars, by the way. Uh, this, this guy, he deserves more work. He only started like a couple months ago, I think. If you are going to get voiceover work done, though, I mean, I would highly recommend this guy. He... He's pretty good. But yeah, if I ever need any more voiceover stuff in the future, I'm probably gonna use this guy. I probably should have said his name before. It's Ray42000. So, I mean, if you're looking for voiceover work, go to Ray. Uh, I'll link his, his Fiverr down below. Uh, if I ever get voiceover work done again, I'm definitely gonna use him. Uh, but yeah. Thank you for watching, and yeah, bye.